Hey guys, I'm back. Um, today I'm going to be entering um, Tease the Customizers contest that he just posted yesterday, so I'm entering it. And the rules for the contest are you have to enter a figure from a movie, a figure from a video game, and a figure from a TV show. And then after I show the figures I'm going to enter, I'm also going to show you uh, something I made and also another new figure that I'm not entering into the contest but I do want to show you guys but I will be showing you two figures in this video that I haven't shown on YouTube yet so first let's get on to the contest contest entry so the first figure I'm entering is the TV show character and I'm entering Walter White which is probably not a big shocker I've I'd always have loved this figure so this used to be my profile photo for a long time, so this is still one of my favorite figures, even though it's really old now, I think. It's like two years old now, but, um, so yeah, all painted by me. The torso was solid white when I started, and now it's dark tan. Um, I made him a custom snub nose pistol out of a Lego revolver and part of a minifigure hand for the barrel. I gave him some, this is supposed to represent his crystal meth. Um, I actually got this from Aaron in a trade one time, so thanks Aaron for that. And then I also have a hat, which is one of the Riddler hats sanded down, and that also is credit to Aaron for that idea. But yeah, so that's my first entry, um, Walter White from Breaking Bad. My next entry is the movie character, and it is um, Groot. Now, I'm actually not sure how many of you have seen the updated Groot. I know I showed it in a video before, but I don't know how, if you, like, my old Groot, like my really old Groot, had his own video, so a lot of people saw that one, but I don't know if you saw the updated one because I didn't give it its own video. But this is the new Groot. The head is sculpted out of green stuff and painted by me. The torso is also sculpted out of green stuff, and so is the back of the torso. And I will admit, I, do, I am not very happy with the paint job on the back of it, and the sides of the legs are a little rough, but the front of it, I love. I might touch up the back of it, I don't know, but, yeah, so, oh, and by the, the movie, this is from is Guardians of the Galaxy, in case you didn't know, so, yeah, that's my second entry, Groot. And then my third entry is the video game and the video game is either Batman Arkham Asylum or Batman Arkham City because the character looks exactly the same in both games pretty much except for his face so I guess you could call this Batman Arkham Asylum because well let me show you the figure alright so here's Joker I showed this in another video my last video actually with where me and Aaron goofed, goofed about if you haven't seen that video please check out my last video because that's that was a fun one that me and Aaron did but uh I guess this would be Batman Arkham Asylum Joker because in Arkham City Joker has a disease that covers his entire face and skin with just like these big red boils and bumps and stuff and this is just a clean Joker with nothing wrong with his face so I guess this is Arkham Asylum Joker before he got sick yeah but uh, this figure started out as standard Lego purple and I, I painted the entire thing dark purple and then this entire like torso, body, legs, arms Everything is painted by me on this torso. This was this this plain dark purple color when I started. I added all the pen striping, all the orange. I even like the little buttons on his shirt. They were black dots, and then I went back over with purple, so they all have like a little black, little black outline. And then the the only thing pa not painted on this by me are the eyes and the eyebrows and some of the little face marks like the cheekbones and the little things around the eyes because I used a standard Lego Joker head. And then I just erased the mouth, so it was like that, but like just plain white underneath the eyes. And then I painted my own mouth. And then the hair was a standard Joker hair piece that I sculpted onto and repainted, and uh, I just threw it. Uh, let me get him back. Uh, yeah, and if you see this in real life, I don't know if you can tell with on the camera right now, but like I gave this so many like washes and dry brush shit, like. Uh, down in the little crevices of this sculpt on top here, like there's so many colors in this hairpiece, and it really looks good. But it, I don't know if you can catch that on camera. Yeah, so those are all three of my entries right there. So we have the Joker from Batman and Arkham Asylum, Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, and Walter White from Breaking Bad. So those are my three entries into Tease the Customizers contest. 
And then the other thing I want to show you is a figure I haven't shown on YouTube yet. It's, uh, after I made that Joker back there, I wanted to make a Batman. So I made Batman from Batman Arkham Asylum slash Arkham City as well. So, uh, the torso is sculpted on. The abs and the pecs right here are sculpted with green stuff. And then, um, you can see I painted the eyes in there. Which, uh, they kind of look weird, but I'm happy with them. Um, and this cape piece is from Breakthrough Armory, I think it's called. I call it the Breakthrough Armor. It's, um, it's a good Batman armor, but the front of it just went down really far. It made it look fat. And I was never too happy with it. I just oh, I got butterfingers. I was never too happy with it. So what I did was I just broke off the front of it and kept the cape part. And I uh, sanded the front part down where I snapped it off. And it, it looks really good on this figure, actually. Like, that's my... The, my favorite part of this figure is either this idea to use this cape part or the bat logo that I painted on the chest. If it focus on it, there it is. Oh yeah, and then the belt has also got some sculpting just so it pops out a bit. Yeah, but this figure started out as light gray, like the entire torso and arms were light gray, and then I painted them a slightly darker shade of gray, but not much darker. And then, yeah. So this figure is also entirely painted. And these Van Braces, I think, are from Rick Warriors, if I am not wrong. I'm not sure where they're from because I got these in a trade. So yeah. So Batman is not an entry into the contest, just these three. Batman is just a figure that I want to show you that I haven't shown on YouTube yet. And I also want to show you this. I posted a photo of it yesterday. I wanted to make a Batmobile, but I didn't want to, I wanted to make the Arkham Knight one, but I couldn't get it right, so I just made my own version of the Batmobile that is heavily inspired by the Arkham Knight Batmobile. And this is what it looked like. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. It's got... Uh, sorry about that. I yawned. But I just, I literally just woke up about 10 minutes ago and I'm filming this video. So, uh, in the middle, there's these click hinges right here. And that's what makes this whole vehicle, like, bend. Like, if I set the camera down, you can see I can bend the front down more. Or up. And that's because of those click hinges. I don't, there's no function for that. It's just to give this vehicle this, like, shape. And then, uh,. Uh, I, I don't really know what to say about this. It can fit one Batman minifigure. There's um a seat, some controls in there. Oh yeah, in this part you have to like push this down, and then put the windshield down, and then push it back up. And it like oh, I can't do it with one hand. Yeah. But if you do that right, then it like locks the windshield in place, and it can't open. And then there's these two little gray things on the front that to always come out. Throw this there for detail. And then there's the back of it. You know, it's nothing, it's it's not very big at all, like compared to this Batman minifigure I just showed you, that's how big it is. And he fell over. So compared to that, it's not very huge, but it's the size I wanted it. I didn't want to make a huge Batmobile. And with the, the photo I posted on Flickr, people were telling me I needed to give it some fins, like a Batmobile, like the big Batwing fins on the back of it. But the whole reason I made it like this, it's like, it's shaped like a pill, I like to say. It's streamlined, it just curves right over. I didn't want anything jack, like, sticking out of it or anything. I like this look right here. But, uh, yeah, so that's about it for this video. Uh, so, yeah, again, this is my entry to Tease the Customizers Contest. These are the three figures that I'm entering. Um, and go subscribe to Tease the Customizer as well, really great guy. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.